Hello, so today I am going to show you how to post a daily register using Google Classroom. There are loads of different ways that you could do this. This is just the way that I am choosing to do it. So on my stream, on my class, I have posted this announcement with the class and it just says daily register to be completed every day that you log in, please. On that post, I have put in a Google form that says daily register. Now, every day, I'm going to click on the three dots at the top and of that post and I'm going to click move to top just so that it moves to the top of my stream every time because otherwise it's just going to get lost down at the bottom. Okay, so daily register, let's click on this. Now, at the top it says complete this form daily please. So please write your first name. So we will put in child and your last name just for example purposes. I'm going to go for child five. What is today's date? Today's date is the 23rd of March. How do you feel today? Today I feel, I feel very happy today. There's lots of different uh, choices that I've put in. Um, and ask a fa family member, one of the following, tick off the question that you have asked. Now we've gone over these in our primary one, two class already. Don't feel that you should be teaching anyone anything new. Um, it's just something nice for, for my class to do. So we've got, English, French, and Polish. And at the bottom, I have included a YouTube video of myself pronouncing these words here. So we've got Jin Dobri, Akshamash, Bonjour, Sava, Good Morning, How Are You? So I'm going to click Submit. And that is how your child uh, completes the register every day. Now, as a teacher, to show you, down at the bottom corner, we have the Edit This Form button. Okay, now teachers, you have a, you've got lots of special things up here, but you have a special button up here that is responses. So you can see everyone who has responded. Now, I named everyone child. Um, so that's all the first names. The last names, I can see that child number one has logged in twice. Child number two has logged once, three has logged in once, four has logged in twice, and five, the one that we just did there, has logged in once. And um, we can see the dates. We can see how they're feeling today or the days that they've logged in. And um, we can see that quite equally, um, we've asked English, French, and Polish across the class. But what is even better is this button up here, the view responses in Google Sheets. So we're gonna click. Okay, so now that that has loaded up, we can see here that child one has logged in the 23rd and the 24th of March tomorrow. Um, but just for example purposes now, automatically it does a timestamp. Um, so you can see if anybody's uh, not telling the truth about when they've, they've logged in. Um, but it's good to see what uh, the pupils are saying because I mean, things go wrong and, and sometimes uh, the automatic timestamp might not work. So, uh, and that's okay. So we're, we're, we're trusting what the pupils are putting in here. So child one's logged in twice, two's logged in once, Three's logged in once, four's logged in twice, and child five has logged in once as well. We can now click on the top, the D up here, and we can click on data, sort sheet A to Z. Now we can see that from the 23rd, one, two, three, four pupils logged in, and these were the pupils that logged in. We can sort by, if I click on the, the C up at the top, data, sort sheet, I can see how many times uh, pupil number one has logged in and the dates. I can sort by how they are feeling. Data, oops, data, sort sheet. Um, so one pupil has said they're feeling fine, two have said they're happy, these are these pupils. Um, I can also sort by the language that they have spoken at home. So I can see that instantly pupil five did not put an answer in there. And that was us, whoops, um, that's so that I didn't save. That's okay. See exactly accidents happen. And um, the only ones that I made compulsory, the only compulsory questions are child, the first name, your last name, and the date. Uh, these are these are just added extras. So we can see instantly that child five has not put any answers in. Um, we can see that English has been spoken twice, French has been spoken twice, and Polish has been spoken twice as well. So that is your daily register. Um, thank you very much for watching.